Well, we were talking about the country being in the, in the grip of winter, and it has been a really bad week, blustery and... Uh, Terrible storms. Storms and all mm. sorts of things. But um, it's good to know that some sunshine is on the way, in the form, as I said, of Wild at Heart. Yes, seventh series. Can you yeah. believe that? This begins on Sunday night, um, and it picks up just weeks after the end of series six, where very it was sad. all very sad. Leopard's Den had gone, and mm. the hunt is on now for a new place to live. The girls have left the boys alone. Yes. Is that, a good, is that a good thing? From previous experience, we know that when the cat's away, though, the mice oh, will yeah. play. If they want it, they can fight us for it. There's life in the old boy yet. Yeah, young and frisky. Shake these girls up a bit. The only thing I know about lions is I know nothing about lions. Did he just say what I think he did? You're getting old, Duke. We had some good times there. Amazing times. Move yourself. And the wild boys are here. Yeah. Stephen Tomkinson, Dion Stewart, and being well, well behaved this morning. Did you like yeah. that, the wild boys? Oh, very good. But look at this fresh faced youth. You uh, didn't recognise you, Dion, know. without the, the whiskers. I'm incognito. I've been mobbed yeah. in the streets since I arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Grown specially for the part. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And Dion, is this right? This is your first ever television interview. It's a Definitely world right. exclusive. It's a world exclusive. Well, we're very honoured that you've chosen us. No one is such a steam company. I'm most impressed. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you have to twist his arm to come with you then? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> loads of money. Yeah, but, yeah. It is gorgeous to have him there. Well, it is. Well, he lives in South Africa. You must feel as if you live in South Africa. Because, it's been, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, five and a half months of the year for the last seven years. And it is. It's been one big happy family. There's been births, deaths, marriages. Yes, it's, uh, indeed. It is home from home. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, well, I'm glad you like it uh, because it's better than the alternative, isn't it? <laughs> Instead of sitting on a job that you would, you would hate being involved oh, yeah. in or whatever. And yeah. I reckon, though, that this is more than just an acting job, Stephen. There's a there's an experience that comes with oh, it. Oh, definitely. Thing. And the the more time we spend, the more trust that gets built up with the animals. So they they allow us closer in. So we we get better footage, and we keep trying new things every year. But and you the, never get used to the animals. They no. always surprise you. You know, at least weird. once a week we stand out on their stoop and we go. We could be in London in a studio doing a hospital series yes. with props. Yes, yes. You know. Uh, and also then, Dion, you get close to these animals as well. Now, there's one giraffe that is called Hamley. Mm. What, what happened to Hamley? Mm. Well, yeah, sadly, he was, like, sad. he was like our little brother on set. He, he we all he cried. Up every day. He, he was sadly struck, and struck by lightning and killed immediately. But, uh, but his sister is around, Lucy. <laughs> and, uh, and we think that uh, she might be carrying Hamley's child. Really? Oh, which will be a very happy ending to the story. Well, the, no, it, is, it is like a soap in itself because yeah. we've got Lucy here in, uh, in real life and we're going to see a whole uh, dilemma unfold oh, it, here. It was one, of those, scenes, one of those bizarre it? things that, mm. that you don't hear on normal sets of uh, don't go home just yet, Stephen, because the giraffe's fallen in the swimming pool. So this is, this <laughs> and this is Lucy. On the set. Yeah, so and we, did, we didn't know how to to get her out. We, we think she'd, she'd sort of splayed her legs to have a drink and toppled in. And of oh, course, yeah, with, with carrying the baby, we were worried of, that she might hurt herself or hurt the baby. So we had to dig out the deep end of the swimming pool. <laughs> and eventually, oh. whoops, she goes. Ta-da! And uh, yeah, oh, as she Dion says, you, you don't get that on, on many hospital dramas. Yeah. <laughs> giraffes walking out of swimming pools. I mean, that's, that's Lucy, you're obviously very close to and looks fairly harmless, but all these animals are wild animals at the end of the day. Oh, oh yes. yeah. So, yeah. how. We've had a few. Uh, yeah. I've been bitten. Kicked. Well, Dion ensured I got kicked by a zebra <laughs> that's one year. so unfair. By using me as a that? human shield. I accidentally moved him to the mm. side and the zebra yeah. kicked him in the back. <laughs> the only time I've seen him move that quickly is when they shout last orders. <laughs> the <laughs> they had it on film, so that yeah, was me. Guilty. You know? But, Dion, are you used to these? animals because you live out in well the you know we don't have them wandering around the backyard if that's yeah. what you mean <laughs> you know but, but more yes. probably more used to Steve than Stephen would be yeah so I'm, I'm quite there. relaxed with them you know and it's okay but, but it's, it's a great opportunity to actually get get to be friends with these mm. yeah. beautiful beautiful mm. animals yeah. the first time I had to do a scene the first scene actually in the, the first cheetah. series with a cheetah and they bring in the pathetic cheetah for the rehearsal and sounds all very well and then comes a scene and I've got to put my hand on its neck and feel its pulse <gasps> I just burst into tears because yeah, I've never the wildness yeah. of it got me. 
So I did the rest of the seed with tears running down See, my I, face. Where I'd be different is, you know where they say animals can sense fear? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, or either that or they can tell vampires from ordinary humans, you know, they can sniff this out. Yeah. I think they would sense that from, from me. But we haven't got a cheetah for you. We've got a tiger from uh, this week's episode oh, on Sunday. And here, here it is. Yes. Hello? You know that little unwanted pet problem? That's a big little unwanted pet problem. Where's the owner? Is he eating him? No, I don't think he's eaten anything for days, and that chain's been biting into his neck. We need to dart him, take a look at that wound, and get him to Big Five now. I can tell you another real life story. The bad news is that Dion was bitten by that actual tiger. The good news is. <laughs> <laughs> it was that big. It was only a baby <laughs> at the time. It wasn't that big. It was that big. Carlin. Yeah, she's lovely. She, yeah, she looked like a little garage forecourt. <laughs> Soft but toy when close, she started. How close are you, you know, in that set that you were in? Are yeah. you really close? Are there trainers sleeping Closer by? Well, there the, people yeah, I mean, sleeping the, darts in case oh, the thing no, goes no, the, crazy? Oh, no, no. The most they carry... The, a couple of people have a stick, and but the most they'll do to scare them off is have one of those dry powder fire extinguishers to give yes, them a look. Scare them. No, we have a member of the, you know, anti-animal cruelty league yes. with us to make sure the animals aren't stressed. Well, I don't know how that works with elephants, but we're going to see you up close and personal now, Stephen, with, with an elephant. Um, sharing, sharing, what, a river or a pool? or We haven't got it, have we not? Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, but you can tell us that it. story. We can tell us that. Oh yeah, story. well yes, I had to uh, a day's train with a with a big elephant called Chikulu, and uh, and I, I help him escape back to the national park where he came from, and uh, so yeah, we we went swimming together, which was a, a really? gorgeous was experience. It? Oh, absolutely it's gorgeous. A huge animal. They are, yeah, and, and just he, the size. And he wasn't, to... you know, because we I think we filmed that sequence in August. Uh, where it's that you know it's still uh, the winter in South Africa, so the water was a bit cold. So he went from A to Z in such. I just, it was my job to get out of his way. Really. You did that. Well, look, um, it it's all starts again, which is fantastic news. Seven series, as Ruth said, Sunday night. Sunday night. Part of the big ITV show. Yeah. Uh, but I just want to say to you before we go, as an actor, what you're doing in DCI Banks, I just love it. I just think it's fantastic for you. It's a re redefinition. I've never seen you like this before as an oh, actor. Thank you very will much. there be more DCI Banks? There will. Yes, we're, we're filming <coughs> some more in March, and uh, I'm going up to uh, to Newcastle before. Sorry to mention Newcastle. Yeah. <laughs> to go up. Uh, oh, that was cruel. Then, cruel. To, to do to do my first lead in a feature film, playing another policeman, really? set, set in the 1970s in Newcastle, mm. called Harrigan's Nick. And Dion, thank you for allowing us your yeah. first. Your world exclusive. Into world <laughs> We're done it now. Thanks, guys. Great to thank see you. you.